Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to this uh, special show. It's a special edition of the Musings and Music Show. And I'd like to welcome you, listeners and eventually viewers, because we do this on Zoom. So it's going to air on the radio and then also on YouTube. So you can see I have guests with me here and that's the happy thing. I don't have to just ramble and go on and on. I have a distinguished uh, panel with me today, a lady and two gentlemen, and I'm not going to do the introductions for them because they can definitely speak for themselves. I'm going to start with the lady and have her introduce herself. Who is she? Okay, hi everybody. Uh, my name is Vanessa Sona. I am, um, I mean, formerly I was a, a TV producer, but right now I'm a, I'm a nurse. And I'm also the president of our cultural group, Bafkuda Greater Washington, and the public relations officer for Bafkuda USA. Excellent, excellent. And then we'll go to the person from the way I'm sitting here, the person that's right above, it's not always the same when they're watching it on, on YouTube, but from what I can see now on my screen, I'll go to the person above. It says doctor in front of his name there. I'll have him introduce himself to. Well, I'm Dr. Grasso Ibako. My profession is a clinical research veterinarian. I am the president and CEO of Bafo Cultural Development Association of Kuda USA. And I'm really happy to be at this panel to discuss. You're very welcome. And sir, go ahead and introduce yourself to. Okay, my name is uh, Daniel Akwo, Abo Akwo. Um, I formerly worked with the Maryland Park Service as a park ranger. Mm -hmm. But uh, for some months now, I'm out of uh, that particular service. I'm a tourism professional. Uh, I'm the cultural development officer for the Bafkura Bafo Cultural and Development Association. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's in the USA, but mm -hmm. in Greater Washington, I'm uh, the secretary of our group. Excellent. You're all very, very welcome to this uh, show. So you've Thank heard you. them say Bafkuda, Bafkuda a number of times. I don't know, some, one or two of them actually said what it stands for, but just in case somebody wasn't really listening, what does BAFKUDA exactly stand for, the entire acronym? What does it stand for? Who wants to answer? So BAFKUDA uh, stands for the BAFO Cultural and Development Association. So it is made up of BAFO indigents, mm -hmm. and we have the same groups in Cameroon, uh -huh. and. Here also we have those groups in the different states. We have a national group, which is the Bafuda USA. Mm -hmm. And then we have different uh, chapters in the okay. various, in different states in the USA. Correct. Do you know about how many? How, uh, so how many? we do have about six uh, active uh, chapters. Mm -hmm. We have one in Atlanta. We have Minnesota. We have Houston. We have Dallas. We have Ohio. And we have the DMV, which is the Maryland, because Maybe it's the Bafuda Greater Washington, right. which is um, Maryland, Virginia. DC, Virginia, and oh, then right. maybe Delaware. Yeah. Right. But simply because some people who are listening to us here now are not uh, Cameroonians. This is listen to this. This is an online platform. It goes all over the world. Somebody from Japan, from Korea, is saying, "Who are Bafo? Who are those people?" So how? Who are the Bafo people? Who is part of the Bafo clan? Uh, if I can respond to that, the Bafo yes. clan, I would say, stretches uh, mostly Meme division. Uh -huh. uh, we find it in about 10 villages that stretches from, say, Kokobuma, mm -hmm. which is up north towards, uh, I would say, north of Meme division. Uh -huh. Uh, as far as uh, Dieka, Kokobumba, which is all the way far south, I would say, um, areas near Mbonge. I'm just calling uh, areas that might be known. Oh, recognize, yes. Which recognizable. Oh, so yes. they like uh, uh, Vanessa said, there are about uh, 10 villages. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't want to paraphrase our Paramount, who said it's almost like a federation right. 
of 10 states because each of those uh, villages has its own chief. And um, Kumba has its chief, Kumba, which I will call it the capital, right. has its own chief, and he is the paramount chief. So uh, all those other uh, chiefs, I think I will say, um, they okay. adhere to him. They come under his jurisdiction. They come under his jurisdiction. So yeah. each village has its own chief, and then he's the paramount. You see, because the rest of us uh, looking out, looking in, think it's as well. Because almost every time we see somebody who is before, they're related to each other. <laughs> they, they, they say, Ama, Ama, and I'm going, okay. So where are the limits kind of a thing? You've, you've helped us to kind of narrow it down. And I, was, that comes from, from uh, uh, Mount Faye, <laughs> so you, we pass the, you go to the Bakwasupe Bak Hill, going on up there. And we are, we, that's, that's an area that we know, we've seen the cultural dances that I was asking the questions so people can understand. Okay, is okay, Kumba. So is that a Bafo <clears throat> person? Is that a Bafo person? And you've made the distinction very, very clear. So who are the founders of this of this Bafkuda? When did it start and who started it? I know you said there's a Cameroon, it comes like it's a is it an affiliate of the uh, the mother group in Cameroon? But when did the USA one start? Anybody know when so started? in the USA actually those of us who were here in uh, Maryland. We belong to we belong to a group called Senase Senase, which is like us we we, right? Uh -huh. Which means uh -huh. like we we. So, uh -huh. but and that was a, a group that had the balloons and the okay. bafos together. Balloons. So the balloons and the bafos have been like together for long. There's right. intermarriage and stuff like that. Right. So we had that group. But then right. in 2009, okay. we started thinking that the Bafos need to be identified as the Bafor, right? Yes. The Balongs too had to create their own group. So in early 2010, we did meet, 10 of us met in, in Houston, okay. where we started laying groundwork on how this group should start. Mm -hmm. And then we had our first convention in Atlanta in 2010, that was July 30th, uh, to August 1, where mm -hmm. 10 of us, I did send a picture, I don't know whether you got it, of the 10 of us that were at that uh, meeting. And that was the first executive of uh, Bakuda <clears throat> USA. Awesome. I didn't get that picture. I'm so sorry about that. I'd like to see those founding members. I will send it and to you. I, I'm assuming they are still there now. They are still part of the... Of the yeah, some of, us, some of us are still there, yes, absolutely. Yes. It makes sense that this will come a little later because, you know, back in the day, way back, the idea was people would come out to the States to come and study. The plan was you'd study, you'd go on back to Cameroon, back. get a job there, and that's where it's going to continue. So it took us a while to start realizing, look, we are going to be here and we are going to be here for a while. Start getting your act together and do what it is that you can. Where you live, we have children. Some of us have grandchildren and nieces and nephews. And it's about time you do something out here in, in the, the, the country, your adoptive country, if I can call it uh, that. So I am talking to the, the three of you right here. Uh, you did mention your positions in the in, in it, but I just like somebody to go over who is who uh, again in the in the, the structure of Bafkuda USA. Who is who exactly? Yeah, I think I think I can I can respond to that question. Um, as a 501c, we do have a structure where you have the an executive and uh, also board of directors. We do have an advisory board, which is made up of yes. nominees from the different chapters from the different states. And how do they get to the board is the president of each state uh, nominates someone to represent the state in the board. Yes. Uh, we have the national executive. I am the president. Um, mm -hmm. I share Bob uh, is, is the cultural, like he rarely introduced himself. And Ma Vanessa is the public relations officer. We do have a cashier, mm -hmm. a treasurer actually, and also a financial secretary. And we do have uh, uh, someone who does most of our, uh, our planning Projects. in terms of project, who is a project development officer, who is Dr. Mm -hmm. Iseme. Uh, our financial secretary is Armando Akor, mm -hmm. who happens to be the beloved wife of uh, our cultural uh, development officer at Shabwa, and also Amal Fender, who is a lander, she is our treasurer. 
So we have that structure to fulfill the 501c requirements in the United States. We are legal in the United States and we can raise funds because we are 501c. We are not for profit. Mm -hmm. So most of our uh, uh, revenue that we generate gets sent back to the community like projects. Awesome. That's the that's the D in the in Bafkuda. It's the development. Correct. Development. That yes. is the, the, the reason, as opposed to just sitting here and you have a, a quote unquote jangi drink, <laughs> eat, nothing happens. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm doing this also book and here, if you have not yet formed yourself into a group like this one, you're listening, you've heard the, what, what the organigram, what the structure is like, it's doable, nice and legal. <clears throat> and so you can actually do things to help because the time has uh, past when we used to think, okay, they used to be back in the I just day, the five year development plan, they chat out everything. There'll be this chunk for the East province, this chunk, this chunk, this chunk, which is a good thing. The government should be doing that, but we know it cannot always do everything that we would like done. So yeah. it's a good thing to have a development association that takes care of uh, projects that are being done back home. Were you going yeah. to give us uh, examples of one or two maybe? Yeah, if, if I can piggyback on what you just rightly said, uh, I, I, we are really, really proud that uh, we have done quite a lot. I mean, my administration, when I say we, my administration as an individual administration and also jointly as of Kuda USA, and I also have to give credit to our, our dear friends who are Bafkuda friends who are not necessarily Bafo and uh, indigents who live in but some of them identify as K-Towners and, and you've heard about the, 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 the Kumba people in Atlanta. They, they take pride to identify as Kumba. So Kumba is one of those cities where despite the fact that the Bafo people are not that many in numbers, we, we have a city where people feel proud of to identify with. Projects that we have done, if I can go back a few sentences uh, just to uh, corroborate what you said that in terms of the intention that we came to the United States was to get an education, go back to Cameroon. But you know, times have changed now that uh, you can make home anywhere. Right. We found out that uh, we we can do better from this end of the world to help our our fellow Bafo kids. So as Bafkuda USA, we have done quite a few projects. If you heard about the massacre that the kids were massacred in the, in the school in Fiango, right. Of course, I USA took upon that initiative because we have empathy for, for, for the people in Kumba. We had to generate some forms to help the, the parents who lost their kids. I know money cannot substitute the kids, but we just give them something to let them know that we also feel their pain. We have done a lot of projects. We've given money to for kids to start businesses. We have funded projects for kids to uh, go to school. So we, we spent quite a, a huge amount of everything that we try to collect, like the upcoming boom where we'll raise funds. Most of those funds will go into projects. We've already identified uh, one of our projects or the theme of this boom will be a, com a community center, which will be served like a museum. We are going to be collaborating <laughs> with our um, fund, Mokete, uh, the fourth Ekako, to see how we can, we can help them generate funds. We just, they just recently gave the Kumba General Hospital. You must have heard that it was Indeed. Indeed. it was it was ravaged by by some serious fire. Mm -hmm. We donated ten autoclaves just to help the surgical unit, and I think we have done quite a remarkable job that is to very show the community that Bafkuda USA is vibrant. That is very impressive. And that's why I keep saying people are listening. Because you see, if you were not already existing as a group, it will be harder to harness, to get all that uh, uh, help. You can start begging bit by bit, penny, one penny comes <coughs> in, two dollars come in here. But when you already exist as a group, groups even have certain funds earmarked for disaster, for unforeseen things, you can mm -hmm. act faster and do yeah. much more uh, um, uh, far reaching work when you already exist as a group. Yeah. And I know you would you'd be accept people are listening. It doesn't mean like he said already, it's not only Bafo people who are interested in the welfare of Kumba and its environs. That's uh, the Bafo era is well known. That's where cocoa comes from. I used to tell people even, I said, 
uh, uh, like the, the, the French talk about, oh, they're known for the cho chocolate, Swiss chocolate. And I'm going, have you ever seen a cocoa tree that grows in Europe? <laughs> they, it comes from our countries. It comes from Cote d'Ivoire. It comes from Cameroon. There's the cocoa farming. So when you help things like this, you help the economy. It's yeah, not just as we should say, yes. And we know, to, cause our, to use our own term we use, there's a lot of 11th province people who, are, who consider themselves K-Town people. Mm -hmm. I don't want to start naming names, but you have people who you say the name and it's attached automatically to Kumba. Others are attached to Tiko because that's where they've been. That's where they've grown. In fact, if you ask them where is the actual village, they know the name of it, but they may drive right past that village in Balengu and not even recognize the place because okay. that is not, <clears throat> you haven't even been there. That's so right. it's a thing that is a good thing to see and you support the place. Just like we too also do projects that uh, benefit the United States of America, most of us mm -hmm. do too. When COVID came around, we did go do PPE things in the left, right, and center because we, are, we, we acknowledge that we live here too. But then Absolutely. we remember where we come from originally and do the projects that you just did. That's awesome. That's awesome. <coughs> so what I know that people, then you write, you say you're a 501c3. So before you turn in all those documents and have the government actually approve of your existence, you would have a mission, you'd have a goal, you'd have your goals. So what does the, the mission statement kind of say? What is the, 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 the raison d'etre of the group? Like, like the acronym of our, of our association, uh, BAFCUDA, uh, you, when you apply for those 501Cs, you have to produce a, a constitution. A constitution mm -hmm. is actually your laws that, that uh, govern the association that you're trying to form. So we, we, we had to submit uh, our constitution and the constitution is all wrapped around culture. If, if you look at the 501C requirements, there is a subtitle for culture. There's a mm -hmm. subtitle for, for churches. There's mm -hmm. a subtitle for charity giving and so there are like six or seven. Mm -hmm. So we did fit on the cultural <coughs> development and, and, and that's why we got our 501C. And the whole idea is, you know, it, because it's a nonprofit, mm -hmm. we are supposed to give back to the community whatever monies we get from, from fundraising. Mm -hmm. Probably 90% of it, 10% to run the administration. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, we don't have paid officials, so nobody gets paid. Nobody it's, a pro bono. Okay. It, it's a voluntary thing. So it, it, it had a lot of weight that the IRS gave us that status. Right, that's really, that's, that's a good thing. You're just doing this out of the goodness. And I had the culture part, that's important. Even for the project you said you were doing, if I cut it right, trying to do like, it, a museum kind of thing, a center kind of thing, because yeah. that's what's going to keep our culture going. You know, yeah. that, that, that uh, is something after my own heart, because we've tended as, as a people, Africans in general, Kamunyas, just the, uh, the same. We just talk about it. We just do things and you kind of hope it goes <coughs> on. And more and more, when in a village setting, of course it would go on. That's all we do. You go to the river, go to, yes, you are there and you're witnessing it for yourself. You live in the place. But people forget that now that we live outside of that environment, if you don't deliberately, intentionally do all of this, it won't work. That's why I was so happy to see you all dressed the way you are dressed. <laughs> this is not the way you, you go to work. Uh, Absolutely uh, not. Most, most, most days, <laughs> so, yeah, all of this, but then, if you don't do that, your children don't see it, your nieces and nephews don't see it, they don't, they don't know what it is they're supposed to be doing. So it's important that you, you the culture part is important. Yeah. Yes, the development is a good branch of it, but then is the culture, the way you do things as a people that okay. distinguishes you from the next person. Absolutely. Uh, the way you think that you do, that's, that's really, I'm glad to see that. So, you okay. do. so uh, you've talked about the achievements. What have the challenges been? Because I know that the, there's nothing that just goes smoothly and nothing ever goes wrong. Yeah, well, the challenges will always be there. So long as times do change, those challenges will be there. And one of the challenges that I see, I, I grew up in, in Kumba. I came to the US when I was up in my, my mid twenties. So the, the challenges we see is um, because we are not surrounded by our elderly people who speak the Bafour dialect on a regular basis, and also because most of us, before, I would not say all of them, we, we, we are involved in a lot of heterogeneous marriages where we don't speak the language at home. So most of our kids who were born here, they barely even understand the language. 
just because the mom speaks a different dialect, the father speaks a different dialect. That's one of the challenges. The other challenge I see is, uh, despite the fact that we know our culture is very, very uh, uh, fragile in terms mm -hmm. of we losing it, people don't show that much participation in our organization to mm -hmm. participate when we have things like conventions where you get a chance to see the culture, eat the food. A few people are still hanging around the fences. I hope that they would, they would you know, come up and, and just help the cause because our culture, especially, especially because we are out of Kumba, faces in extinction because uh, we don't have this support. The support meaning that you walk, you wake up in the morning, people are speaking about for you can pick up good morning from, from there. But here we don't, we don't have that. I hope that people start realizing that uh, our, our culture is being threatened, especially when we are out of Kumba. Right, it, that, that's a pertinent point you've made there. And the funny thing is we live here with our African-American colleagues who are so much about the motherland, the motherland, the motherland, they want, they feel, they want their roots and everything. And then we who are kind of tied to it, who are naturally there, are not paying much attention to it. Uh, so we really, we really should. I'm one of those who, because you have the, a Bayangi father and a Bakuri mother. <laughs> neither, <laughs> neither one, which is yeah. neither one well. Bayangi father, Bakuri mother, and then grow up in Yaoundé. I think my own <laughs> is better than, than yeah. the Kenya yeah. and the Bukuri. <clears throat> and frankly, if, see, you the, permit, if you permit me, I would just like please. to add more to what our president said. Uh, uh, the, some of our challenges uh, is that uh, most of our cultural issues a lot of times has been a little bit oral right uh, history is passed down it's orally right and uh, over time some of it is lost because those who narrate those uh, historical facts or pass things down are gone yes uh, of recent there's been much effort recently in putting some of this into documenting some of them and uh, that is one of the things that we are also encouraging. Mm -hmm. uh, we have recently a lot of our young people have gone into writing books, mm -hmm. and uh, even our late chief also wrote a, an anthology. Yes, an so anthology. I have a copy yeah. of that. That uh, uh, one uh, of our young people wrote a, recent, gave me. Yes. a very voluminous book on the history, and uh, it's very very rich. So. A lot of people have started putting some of these things uh, in documentary form. I believe uh, we sent you some pictures of, uh, uh, in fact, I wish I could move down with this camera to no, show you a box of, Please do. She says a she box of uh, so artifacts, which uh, we got I did a few see, years but ago. There you go. That one I do have, yeah. the one she has in her hand there. Go ahead and show it. But yeah. I do have that one that is proudly before. And yeah. the picture at the bottom, uh, I was going to actually yeah. bring that up. You have brought it up now. In, in, in the, yeah. What those 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 items right there that you have? I even see the broom that's behind him too there that he has. And I do <laughs> actually have have a, a a video. Well, I didn't bring out my this one. You know. Right. I just have it by my side. Yes. Yeah. You know. Now, now let me go ahead and share my screen for a, for a, for a minute. And I was going to talk about this because lately in the southwest uh, region in particular. We've had some um, chiefs, paramount chiefs come up who are younger than the ones uh -huh. that were back in our day. We had the, the, the chief whom you, you knew the name, but they were, I would frankly, because they're not your peers, they're not quite relatable. But now we've had, starting with the, uh, uh, from Mukete the fourth, uh, the, uh -huh. there was him. And then after that, not too long uh, afterwards, there was uh, the query. Really, yes. Okay. And then barely weeks ago, uh, the, the, the in the northwest, yes, it, yes, okay, in, in the northwest in and Guafo, mm -hmm. and then the one in 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 uh, Limbe. Limbe chief, Manga uh, Williams. Uh, Lufa, Lufa Manga Williams, yes. So I am looking at all of that. I'm getting really excited because when we see the uh, like what I saw there, I'm sure everybody saw the video of when the 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 the, the, the phone of Mancon and Guafo was. Big. That's something which we would only hear that okay, there's the new chief. But because of the modern day and time, modern day. I actually saw them run with him. Mm -hmm. They're looking where is he? In the, you know, and the people sit on the stool and we get to see it. Mm. As for the one in Boya, I was up at a <clears> ungodly <throat> hour in the morning here 
So watch what was going on there with all the drums and everything. The one in Limbe, the same. So even though we are kind of, like we say, uh, we, we don't have the human beings anymore, like they used to call them griots who tell the, whose job it is to narrate the history. Now we're trying to at least use what we've got, mm -hmm. writing books, gathering, gathering the artifacts. And now mm -hmm. we're blessed to actually have uh, the videos where we can actually we could see all of those things going on live. If you, yeah. if you don't mind, let me pull up, try to pull up the same, the same picture that I did have in the phone. Okay. Share that screen and you can tell me what those items are since we're talking about culture. <laughs> okay. You see, it should be right here. I made a little album and let's start with the picture. It is this one right here, the very first one. So let me do Okay, it. that's the book. Put it up right here. That's okay. the book that I was holding here. Yeah. So there this was like an intentional project right. where we said that we needed to document certain things. So once you go into the book, you will see a lot of different things in the book we have. Um, so this was, this is just the cover of it kind of, or one of the pages. That's the cover. It. Yeah, that's I the see. cover of the book. That's the cover of the book. So within the book, we have different things like let the anthem. Let me stop the share then, and let me let and stop the share and go back to the book. Okay. So where is it? Where, 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 if, wanted, if somebody wanted a copy, how do they get that copy? That book? Well, <laughs> we, have, we will have some of the copies at our, our upcoming boom in Houston. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. But eventually, we will have to start putting these books, writing out these books, and then putting them on Amazon or trying to put them on Kindle so right. that people can have access. So this is just the start of what we're doing. And, and we are hoping start. to improve on that eventually. It's a good start. Because yes. if we think that we're going to have, we, we cannot, we're not going back to those days where we sat on that no. tree at night and the clap, you answer, you clap, you answer. <laughs> Who's sitting on that tree, tree these days? This, the, mm. the children who are trying to teach so that they carry the culture forward. Absolutely. Those sitting on that tree, they, they do this, they will read mm -hmm. something or they'll mm -hmm. go online and look it up. And look so it up, you absolutely. Put it there for them, then you've done a good part of the, of the whole uh, mm -hmm. uh, tradition thing. Looks like you're going to say something. Yeah, uh, if if I if, if I if I may inter interject here, I, I I think with the new technology today, we have a uh, a better chance of propagating our culture. Mm -hmm. Our kids have a lot of cell phones. If they can download, but for language to learn, we can do it. We just need to take advantage of the new technology. Right, we do because it's something which which a language is, we know what a language can do. And any, the more languages you know, the better for you. There are times when we're in, I mean, the story with my daughter, she's trying, hey, she's trying to gossip. She's trying to say, see what's going on over there. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to say it in English because of course the person is going to know, but so she's sitting there, whatever French she can remember, whatever people she can do. <laughs> you know, so we need to know those kinds of things that you can actually say and talk to yourselves in the way that you were, you, 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 it, it, it's a code for you too, it brings you together. And it's also a code of a way that you can communicate uh, uh -huh. when you want to without necessarily having the next person understand exactly what it is you are saying if you do not want them to. Were you going to say something, sis? Yeah, I'm going to, I wanted to put out one thing also, which is a challenge. And I believe uh, it happens a lot. Mm -hmm. If we go out with our children, if I go out with my grandkids, they see Dr. Grasso or Vanessa, uh, is auntie, uncle. Right. And um, this has affected, in a way, it impacts on the children when they grow up to intermarry. Yes. And uh, in the Bafuda Greater Washington, we started something where we try to let the kids or our younger ones know that the uncle and auntie is, is just a sign of respect. respect. It's but not it's not really a blood relationship, mm -hmm. you know, so that it gives them that understanding. I know it's a difficult thing, not only in the Bafo clan. Oh, it's everywhere. Also, I'm, so, I'm mm -hmm. laughing because that's exactly what we talked about. <laughs> I've seen, one. Uh, have friends who are from, uh, say, Douala, Yaoundé area, or the western part of Northwest, and they see me, uncle. I mean, I have, <laughs> I, there's a store I go to where there's a Ghanaian young man Right. Who knows me and he calls me uncle. How are uncle. you? Yes. So, <laughs> we have this responsibility mm -hmm. to explain to our children and maybe grandchildren. Right. For those who have, I have, and I try to let my children know, my grandkids know that 
this is the situation. Right. This, uh, that sign of respect, it doesn't make you blood relations. Relations. Not because that now you just know. told them that this is your uncle and this is your aunt, so this is your cousin. Now you're trying to match me. You're like, oh, exactly. you want me to marry my cousin? So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, yes. So <laughs> it's it's a challenge in our community it today, is, yeah. Is. And uh, I believe uh, a lot of us have to help the younger generation understand mm -hmm. what these terms where we are in the in the in the different land. I would say, correct. So I hope some of them are, are born here, here. Yes. but we have to let them understand that somewhere there you can really, you know. Play around, I would say, not to throw them into something that they're not prepared for, right. but uh, that they are not really blood relations and they relations. marry or yeah. you know intermingle. Maybe if if you look at it from from a scientific perspective, uh, there is this, this psychological component that has come in that it will be very difficult to remove that idea in someone's exactly. head whom you've exactly. called for years uncle mm -hmm. and team mm -hmm. to go into a relationship with them. Right. So it's, 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 a, it's a task. I don't know how we can do it. I don't to, want to, to play try, try psychologists on, on, on the radio, but <laughs> there is a component that uh, mm -hmm. it's very disturbing. Yes, mm -hmm. because the reason why we did that to start with was, as he said, it was respect. Here we come and people call <clears throat> anybody by their first name. Yeah. And so we said over our dead bodies that no, <laughs> don't you do the by their first name? You need to put until That's correct. there. That's yeah. Correct. Because of the respect <clears throat> part, and along with that respect thing now has gone all of this stuff. I was yeah. laughing because I know a concrete example. You're trying not to whisper and say, okay, have you seen this person? She says, like, are we not related? Are we not related? Yeah. We're like, no, you aren't. Yeah. And they're like, but yeah. no, I don't know her like that. Ew. You see, that, yeah. that, that's the, that's uh. the reaction. Uh -huh. We have always known them as, as, as that. Yeah. But you see, you talked about the fact that you have different branches, Houston, so other places. Uh -huh. That may now be the, a good reason why when you do come now to this cultural uh, celebrations, <laughs> celebrations. Least, they get to meet, meet other people from the area, but who are not the ones that we're calling auntie on cool uh -huh. necessarily. So at least those ones are not, you kind of knew them, but from a distance, you know very well that's not your cousin at all. Mm -hmm. it, it, yes. it, so now you meet them in the group and then you have the younger ones which is why all of these groups are saying when they meet for a cultural thing annually to make sure that there is some kind of part of the agenda for the weekend that has these younger people, people. meeting and doing their own kind of a thing uh, uh, out of the glaring eyes of the eyes of, of the, the parents of the parents who will not let them <laughs> like that. Uh, uh, figure yeah so that looking is at really and is looking at me and feeling a little nervous where they yeah. can change numbers and things and get along. If not, we better be prepared. Like we said, <clears throat> hey, they're out here. Who they see is their high school, people that they go to high school or college with who are not going to be Bafo, who are not going to be Dwala, who are not even going Absolutely. to be Absolutely. Period. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's something to be said. Not, we're not saying nobody should marry outside of their ethnic group, but we also know that there are things that when you have in common, just help those kinds of unions uh, move forward. Okay. Yeah, and we have to be deliberate about it. Right. We have to be really deliberate Very about it. Yeah, right. Right. and because if we are not, then it makes no sense. It even we even go to the part of most of us don't even know how to cook our own foods, right? We 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 struggle, but then I know at some point in time we need to show people what our foods like our kids. What are those kind of foods that we used to eat back home? If you Google before gastronomy, there's a video that we shot. Um, it's on YouTube, Thank and it's, we're, we're trying to show how to cook some of the foods that we eat back home that our parents used to give us back home, it's so nice. that they have a taste of it. Because we always have that at the at our convention. We're going to have it in Houston, mm -hmm. where we have the fundraising part where people will use those foods. We would, they would they would pay to get a dish of that traditional dish, which is done. By with ingredients from back home and made with the leaf, not with the foil. <laughs> right, right. right. Because, because the yes. leaf gives it the flavor. It gives it that flavor, it's, absolutely. So we have that. It's not there just to be a container. It's no, there no. because the, 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 the flavor of that leaf gets into the yeah. whole thing and it tastes different. Absolutely. And we have the spices all from Cameroon. So we have the fundraising part of that on, on the Friday, where is the cultural evening. 
So right. people who come will have a taste of what Bafo good. cooking is all about. It's very good. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a very good thing to that. I applaud and, and commend that, that uh, way of doing the things. The cultural night is entirely Bafo. Culture. Awesome. The food, awesome. the gastronomy, the music, and uh, yeah. no other type of music, I would say. So we try yeah. to limit ourselves to, you know. to, to, the, to the culture. So any, any children, anybody who goes there, mm -hmm. adult or, 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 or child, mm -hmm. gets to know. You cannot leave and say you do not know. Mm -hmm. uh, at least you'll, you'll pick up something. You'll pick yes, up something. Absolutely. Everyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you yeah. don't mind, I'm inviting you specially to join us. In there you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm definitely honored. And that, talking about that, that has made me, you mentioned uh, uh, from Muketa, and I believe you, the, I have the flyer. Let me, let me show you what it is the, the, right here on that same uh, album I was showing. Let me go back here. Uh, by the way, this is, uh, 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 let me start with the flyer itself. Am I sharing my screen? Can you see that? Yes, yeah, we can. Yes, 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 absolutely. That's do you, the flyer. Do you, do, you, yes. do you like that flyer? It's, it's it's beautiful. It sits there. So 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 just for those who don't know, who is this personality sitting right there in the <laughs> middle of it? Yeah. Who who's so, can you introduce the the the, the personality yeah. looking all distinguished sitting right there? That's our uh, His Royal Majesty von Mukete the Fourth Ekoko. He is the Bafo Paramount ruler. Right, that you had mentioned before. And it's going to be there. It's going to be go. there. I was yeah. going to ask if it's <laughs> you put him right there, front and center. I'm guessing that's because he is going to be part of this uh, 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 celebration, which should make others who are listening to it more, even more interested in attending it. It's the ninth national convention. It says it, hold, it holds between July 29th and the 31st of this year, of course. Yeah. And you see, it All says right. right there that the theme is a fundraising for. The resource, the resource center. center. Right. Correct. Correct. And we, on something? Friday, Friday we have the cultural night. I see that there. On Saturday we normally have a meeting uh -huh. with the for all of us, mm -hmm. and then in the evening we have the gala, mm -hmm. and then on Sunday we have a barbecue. I see that right so there. So we 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 expect that everybody who comes will leave Monday morning because yeah. we want people to enjoy the full, the full spectrum school. of yeah. everything. Yeah. And, and I'm having a salary, you forgot that uh, that Saturday mm. evening, we're going to be having a town hall session with the Paramount oh, yes. to answer questions Wonderful. that we have. That is Absolutely. Amazing. Questions about the culture, about yes. our people, about development in our towns and villages. Correct. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And I saw that I, 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 uh, at the beginning, I was, we talked about culture. And I do want us to listen to a little bit. I had uh, a, a picture or two there from when he arrived, and I think a video as well. I see, okay. we're talking a culture, let's start from here. This is a still picture. So that was the, I see you actually have a, a flag right there on the, <laughs> on the Range Rover. That's the flag like <laughs> the, the, the fabric looks like what uh, uh, Amar Vanessa's wearing. Right, 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 that's, right. Our, that's fabric. our fabric, yes. Awesome. That's the general fabric, yes. Awesome. And this was, this was, uh, he had a private visit. He did a private visit to Maryland, uh -huh. and we were so honored that we were informed. And we we visited him where he was staying, and uh -huh. then we invited him to our regular monthly meeting. All right. And he accepted. So that was his entrance to where we were having the meeting. And I'm going to go ahead and share that entrance too, because I got a couple of videos or two, so we can actually see them. And we're talking culture. Yeah. Let's look. So I think this is, if it is, I'll give it a minute to play. Uh, I think this was, this would, this would be the arrival. It's taking a while to uh, load. To so load. we're talking as, as that happens. Yeah, so, so that happen. was, uh, the driver was Ashi Akwaiseme, who oh, drove wow. him and brought him to the meeting, yes. There we go, I let know. me see if I can make this bigger. Let us see if we yeah. have the there sound. There you go. And, and Akwaiseme is the chairman of our advisory board. board. So that is Ashley Lawrence who was opening the car for him. Okay. That was Reverend Victor. Okay. Uh, who is always uh, 
moving around with the chief okay. and then uh, with our phone and then he comes out. So the whole group was outside waiting for I him. We were singing, right? And nice. he came out. I can hear the, 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 the song. There's somebody there with him in the gong already. Yeah, yeah. that's here, boy. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm sorry, I forgot to have it by my side. I have it here. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Look at that. So that is Ashi Prince Akama. Okay. And that is, that was that's me welcoming him. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So Ashi Prince Akama was is actually the assist, uh, the vice president of our group here. Okay, I see the president there. <laughs> so there we are, there are the members of the group. Awesome. That way even the neighbors will know something about the culture. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they were surprised to see uh, everyone in that Imagine affair that. and then welcoming somebody that special way. I mean, <laughs> Our Paramount deserves such an honorable. Uh, very, very. That's why I have to, to, to show this so we can we can we can we can see it in action. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> with the with the, with the with the gong going. That's right. Like we said, there are some of those things we learn from our elders. Uh, we may not be very perfect in what we do, but we try to. Um, to emulate and yes. pass it on. It, those things have uh, different significances. They do. And, uh, we they just do. try. I to... saw the, first of all, any child watching, even I watching realized there were no handshakes. Everybody no. came and they, they just mm -hmm. nodded and bowed normally. And I don't see why we should sit here and know that that's what happens in Japan. All of us know that this is what we do. And then you <laughs> come you go. and you're to work, you know, <laughs> you know what we two do. Yeah. So you don't have a little kid just come on up there and say, hey, hey, dude. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you, you can see that even your own dad, your own grandpa is honoring somebody. That's how Absolutely. you when you see it in, in action that way. You know, uh, if, sorry. If, I am I am I am really really honored that uh, we we're doing something like this because I have I've watched other <laughs> chiefs come visit here in the United States, and uh, we we had this opportunity and we we, we took that chance took to, it. to do it. To, to do and it if first. you don't you, you don't you don't try it, you don't know because you see yeah. as you're saying I know that a bunch of other the older chiefs back in the day have been out here. It was more like a private visit. You just knew that they were here. Their family would know they're here and they've gone on mm, back. They've gone. But, but that's yeah. the thing about having the younger ones who can relate, who, who are trying real hard yeah. to navigate the path between being custodians of their culture and having that reverence that they're supposed to have, but still relating to the people. Absolutely. At this point in time, even Queen, Queen Elizabeth knows it. If you keep yeah. on being the Ma, the Queen there, on untouchable, you have to have, you see, the, the Harry and William mm -hmm. are trying to, to be out there and be, let me not, let me say normal, for want of a better, ordinary, mm -hmm. for want of a better term, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that they are relatable. Because if you're Absolutely. going to this thing into the future, you are not going to and do the scary thing. Mm -hmm. it, our kids are just going to say, oh, forget it then. If they don't see yeah. what is the need for, 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 for them, they see a person there and wow, they got to see the, the 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 chief yeah like, you have to mingle mingle and talk with the people so that you get a sense of who you are and you get a sense of what they're thinking correct yeah. then they'll, they'll buy into your vision for the for the absolutely people. correct this is and, what's going on with our people sorry we're going to say something and you, and you also relate to your with your chief if if you can feel comfortable asking him a question in those days you know who are you hey. to come down and ask a chief a question My that goodness. some some of those questions are very sensitive i mean mm -hmm. like the town hall he had in maryland some questions were burning in people's hearts and they finally got the answer from the horse's mm -hmm. mouth Correct. so he, he he tends to relate better the, the the younger chiefs know that for a good relationship you must you must create some some uh, good camaraderie Right, yeah. you, you do have to do that. The aura is there, and if you, you you don't have to, you don't lose that because you're trying to be be accountable to your people or, or re make yourself relatable. You can you can do the two. We will still understand that you have the you're the custodian of the culture and respect you for it. 
but we can still now, we can help you if you let us know what it is that your vision is, and then we can help to just support it and uh, contribute for it, fundraise for it, and do things uh, better that way. So, so that I saw, I, I don't know whether this was also in May, and let me go back to that album really quickly. I don't, I'm not sure whether this was, I saw that group of people, okay, so we, we've, we've said this already. I saw, of course, this is this is the group now in the pictures. You are all, you took a picture, group photo that day. Yes. Uh-huh. And does this, so, other group, sorry, go on, go on. So that particular picture you have on, this picture is the first visit we had with him when we went to where he was staying. Oh, before we invited him to so the one that our meeting. Okay. So this was just a, a, a few people that we could put together, we could call together uh -huh. to go visit him where we went and we sat with him, we talked with him, uh, drank a little bit with him mm -hmm. before leaving. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. And I think he's gonna be, it's not, it's not like he came, he's, he's gonna only visit Maryland, he's gonna visit uh -huh. other states. Other states where... So other states should be expecting him to come so that they can commune with him also. Right. I see this one here. Is that the same? Uh, so no. That picture, uh -huh. that picture is during yeah. his coronation. I went to I Cameroon to represent Bafkuda, USA. Awesome. Awesome. That's very good. And you took a, a photograph right there. That's very good. And yeah. then, so I'm guessing this, this would have been the same event because I see you talking. Yes, yeah, I, 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 was, I was pledging to the Bafo people that uh, we are one and Bafo and that Bafkuda, USA is behind our new Paramount ruler. And that's a good thing for him to do. So you see the rapper, you see the rapper is different there, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that was for the coronation. It was the coronation rapper, because I see the Correct. regular one over there, mm -hmm. the, regular one, the blue <laughs> one over there. And then there was this bit for that. This is, this. Yes. I like the wave that's on, because there's the coronation rapper too for uh, Chief uh, uh, um, Adeli, and there was one mm -hmm. for Chief Manga Williams as well. Correct. And then, so this, so this is the, this is the one I was talking about. Now it makes sense that what you, what you said. So I was wondering, was this in Maryland? So Shia, Shia Boa should be able to explain that. <laughs> uh, I think uh, if I look at it well, uh, I see Dr. Grasso. That's that's, that's, that's the coronation. The coronation. They call them babangwe. They're yeah, like they're... young tigers. There, it's just like. Um, Bodyguards. Bodyguards, yeah. Okay. okay. And, uh, we, we, um, we've we had that here. We've tried to emulate that mm -hmm. example. And hopefully in Houston, we're going to do the same thing. Awesome. So we are working seriously. I don't want to put the egg out of the, the cat out of the bag. Yeah, I invite you to come and see for yourself. See for ourselves what it, what it is. Yeah. So I was like, oh my goodness, yes. To you know, for, for uh, I think two years, we've not, because of the pandemic, Correct. We've not been able to have this. So coming back, uh, we took the challenge. Mm -hmm. A lot of people said it may not hold. We said, let's take the challenge. So uh, for the moment, we are mobilizing teams of uh, people left and right, different right. states. And mm -hmm. everybody's really excited that uh, this uh, event is taking place. Right. And everybody, I will say, most people want to be there. So it's going to be an exciting time. Correct. I, I would say all of this and say uh, who, who would want to be a part of it because um, the, you, you see the opportunities when you see them. If you're going to actually have, get a chance for a town hall, I'm saying if you were in Cameroon and you tried to go to Kumba and do a town hall, you'll be one of so many. And I don't know whether you're, you're, going, you're going to get a chance for your question to be tabled before the chief like this. Uh -huh. You have an advantage being out here where the group is smaller. I, I mean, to tell you the truth, uh, how often do you get to like right there where the chief is like sitting yeah. there? There was just this group of a few of you singing yeah. these songs and everything. You go to come by itself. You may not get a chance to be a bigger people. crowd. Yes. Uh, then there's the sorry, there'll be government officials there too. The, the uh -huh. mayor, the governor, the representative of the, of the prime minister. By the time they get to little you there, you are kind of like the third person <laughs> in the crowd. They're living. They're living. Mm -hmm. That's true. You don't so, even discuss your culture. Right. So this is this will be the opportunity now to go to Houston and get to do all of this. You you cannot miss learning a lot. In fact, I was hearing the the the, the first thing that was being said. There sounded like a name I know. Eningan is a name. I thought it's just somebody's name, but it's I heard it being said that you see. So that's mm -hmm. the whole idea. It, it, even for me, who's not part of the clan, I'm learning a few things just sitting uh -huh. here and listening and following along. 
So it's a good thing to know. Nobody says you shouldn't know what Abraham Lincoln did, and I don't know who else, Thomas <laughs> Jefferson. <laughs> all good. But in Anmajalan and where I'm, where Mungo Park. Mungo all, Park. <laughs> yes, all good, but you should also know some of your own. Uh, yeah, all own correct. People. When correct. they say who are men of influence that you know, list all those people, people Martin Luther King Jr., list your, your paramount chief too. Absolutely. Yeah. Attained yeah. A, a lot, well educated. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, has nothing to envy from any of the other monarchs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have, you know, with or with, you know, without Cameroon. And so, and and also one thing is your 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 paramount ruler gets a lot of respect from non bafos if the Bafo people give him their respect. Mm -hmm. If there is a sense of disrespect, uh, he loses that ground of power. Mm -hmm. So I am pleading for all the Bafo people to support the paramount ruler we might have differences but he is our ruler when it comes in public that you have to portray a ruler you have to do everything and forget your difference that's that's very very well said very well said this is and uh, if you permit me without neglecting that fact i know we're talking about our event coming up in houston mm -hmm. uh, the last weekend of july Mm -hmm. uh, just been just it was just a coincidence that uh, this year also in Kumba, I think uh, December eighth to the tenth, mm -hmm. we have a general. I would say boom, we we'll call mm -hmm. it boom. Yes, which is going to uh, span about uh, three days from uh, I think December eighth to the tenth. Everything being equal, mm -hmm. so that would be a big jamboree where a lot of things are going to come up. And I think some of us already have tickets ready for, for Cameroon. So uh, encouraging as many people as possible, if your schedule permits, to be part of that uh, event. Plan ahead. Plan ahead. Kuda, USA, uh, like our president said, he never misses anything. <laughs> so we saw him right there. And he has a lot yeah. of us already in his bag yeah. <laughs> to go to that event. So we have to. We have to be yeah. there. Absolutely. It makes sense. And what he said there is true. If you if the people that you your own subjects do not respect you and give you that uh, you respect to go and to, to absolutely it happens like that in every case, even in a family, you wife and children, you don't treat <coughs> your own dad, then the neighbor's going to say that dude over there and just mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and if you don't if you show the respect, that is how it starts from within. Absolutely, all, from within that will take the cue. When they see that you're not even shaking hands with the person, you're respectfully bowing. <clears throat> then nobody's going to come from outside and come and just try to treat the person anyhow yeah. when they see that you yourself are yeah. treating them with reverence. And yeah. that has been our thing, let me say it frankly, because I'm from the Southwest province too. We've tended to do that. Mm -hmm. Hey, just because the person is that and you don't do... Mm. Our, our, our brothers from the Northwest province have definitely had done a better job of that in the... Oh, province. yes. The way Absolutely. They, 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 yeah. And even if the person is younger, they mm -hmm. do that even within their own family. Mm -hmm. Their father's job chair may be the last child in the family. Last child, they yeah. They call him Ba, Pa, mm -hmm. and they, you know. They respect the, the us, institution. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because we see that even here, you have very bitter in, uh, uh, campaign this season. This one is insulting this one, insulting that one. Republican, <laughs> Democrat, the whole thing. Hillary says, shame on you, Barack. After Barack won then, you don't see her quarreling with him anymore, calling him mm -hmm. names. You, you respect the office. Respect the office. Correct. Correct. Absolutely. And, and say this lesson won and we, and, we, and we do that. So we try. That's what we, we that's a good lesson for us. Mm -hmm. So how, what do you see? The vision for the future? If somebody gave you a magic wand now and said, just wave the thing and make things be exactly like you'd want them to, to be, what would, what would you say you'd like to see? I, I would talk as, uh, with the heart of a president. The vision is that we need unity. We need, we need peace among the Bafo people. We need tolerance. We need perseverance. We need to forgive one another. There is no one who is perfect. And if we put all of these things together, the clan will move forward. Well said. Well if said. I could add to that, um, culturally, uh, one of our greatest uh, visions, especially those of us, Bafkuda USA. Mm -hmm. I know we talked earlier about the resource center. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, it's, so, it's just a coincidence that it seems to tie a lot with what uh, our Paramount had uh, during the town hall year. It mentioned some of the things that we have been thinking about. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And uh, one of those great things is uh, a resource center, mm -hmm. which uh, is a museum. Right. And uh, he has that same mind of preserving mm -hmm. a lot of our artifacts. If I could just throw in something there, <laughs> Uh, some of our kids today don't know about a, a, a touch house right. which used to be they call a match house right which used to be uh the main uh, uh i would say dwelling dwelling, dwelling. Right. for a lot of our people in those days those things are dying out right. and some places you go you i know places like man you eat eru you eat with your finger some people say right. that oh. right. yeah. you know they will say oh you can't do that but there's something different when you, some meals, you cannot it eat that. It doesn't taste exactly. the same. I, tell, I, I swear it doesn't taste. <laughs> no, it yes. does not. If you it eat it with a fork and knife, there is something about actually doing that and actually licking your fingers. Mm -hmm. That is just mm -hmm. different. That's just how it is. Yeah. So, so, so the things. We, you know, our plan is to stimulate a lot of interest in our heritage right. and not only interest, but also preserving it. Correct. For future generations. Correct. And it's, yeah. it's, it's also a mentality, a brain, I would say a brainwash mentality, because you see, sushi, they have no problem going to get the little the chopsticks doing the whole thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what we do, and we don't find it strange, and we just decide that our own is the one that's strange. It, it, it's it's a, sometimes a way we look at our own things and look at them as being inferior to anything else. And I keep telling because mm -hmm. I teach, I teach a, a foreign language class. That is part of my job as doing that is to say, it's different, it's not bad. If yeah. it's different from what you're used to, that's mm, what we do. Mean it's bad. That's yeah. what you do, that's what we do. Yeah. One is, neither one is bad, neither one is superior, mm. is the way we do things. Absolutely. So, and, 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 and there is also something about the culture that uh, when I was growing up, if I can use myself as an example, when someone dressed like I'm dressed like this, uh, the impression is that he's a witch and that she, <laughs> she didn't get close to him. Uh, if someone gets older and wears something like this, he can kill you. Right. So <laughs> oh, 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 I've come to grow up that there isn't anything there. There isn't anything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just that they made it look as if it's a secret society that when you start wearing some of these things, you have to belong to. It's an occult, <laughs> it's an occult kind of a thing. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, so the, the, this, this, this suit has more value than the other thing. And I'm going, no, it's just, that's somebody's way of wearing, of dressing. I have mm -hmm. nothing with it, but I have my own as well. And Absolutely. I'm much more comfortable sitting in this cover. In this cover, right. Cover. <laughs> it's my little sketch sitting here, all stiff. I know, I'm like, right? I go to work like this. Yes, this is, this absolutely. Is I feel. Me too, me and, too. And, so and, if I had a wand, I would say, um, you know, we are here in the US or wherever in Europe. Sometimes it's not that we want to stay here forever. Mm -hmm. We also want to go back home. And home is home. Right. Right. So we need to develop our own areas. Mm -hmm. Okay. We need to, when I look at Kumba, I see tourism all over the place. Mm -hmm. I look at the Barambi Lake. Right. That is a place that could bring us money. Let us develop our own area. Right. We have we have uh, about four children or who can play music. Let's bring out that music that we we so love when we play it. Let's let somebody put Munyenge here now and you see everybody on the floor dancing to that. Right. You know, let us yeah. let us try yeah. and have our people the, right. do some of these things and let 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 our, let our towns come back to life. Correct. Absolutely. The mission. Now that starts from you as, as somebody has said before, developing pride in the in, in the in your own Absolutely. place and mm -hmm. follow suit. When you simply talk about K Town, that's my town, that's my town. So, <laughs> I'm a, a, a person. I'm, I'm a Victoria boy, a Victoria girl. There you go. There behind this thing, I'd like, like to... the jewel, like the jewel of Victoria. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if you don't have any, any pride in your own thing, nobody's going to come and be interested in it on your behalf. Absolutely. That's the thing we, we need to do and promote our own. Mm -hmm. I'm saying there's enough room for all of us in there. All of like, us. If you like Western music, but you should like your own to, uh, uh, music as well. Mm -hmm. You are listening to something on your car radio. What's wrong with listening to the to the artist too? That's from your own, your, your right. own area. You I, I, like I, I would like to push one thing, if you permit me. Uh, a Go few ahead. years back when we were in Minnesota, mm -hmm. 
for one of these uh, conventions. Oh, yes. And um, we had this display of these artifacts. Mm -hmm. And um, I would say some ladies, they're African-American, they came towards the end. Mm -hmm. And I took them around trying to explain some of the things which you had, like what we call casnet. Mm -hmm. But you used to catch fish and the fish in the yes. basket. Mm -hmm. Right. And then there's also a little uh uh I would say traditional basket, a, a, like a bowl. Mm -hmm. So I was explaining all to that to them. And I'm telling you, they were almost in tears. Say, how can I get there right. to see some of these things? Mm -hmm. So uh, I was telling them how yeah, the this ladies was, this used to go basket. out to do fishing. Yes. And when they catch fish, how they stop the fish before they get back, uh, go back to their homes. Correct. And we also had this, we have this net which they dump in the streams. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a bait, mm -hmm. uh, which we call today a bait. And um, so there are so many things that we explain to them. And today we hear about a DNA pool coming out with DNA, X percentage, I'm from here. And uh, some of them ask us, how do I get there? So mm -hmm. when we organize this uh, uh, mboom, as we're saying, in different areas, we yes. try to invite our African-American friends, right. uh, brothers, I will call them, preferably, yeah. to mm -hmm. come and see. And we take time. We have a display. Right. And we take time to explain some of these things to them. I mean, what we have. So we can't we have, have certain things. Correct. Uh, our display we had, we had a lot of uh, spices. Some of them over time, they have, uh, you know, gone bad, but we have a few uh, mm -hmm. still left. No, I've but, always told my own children here, because we kept on eating pretty much uh, what the same diet uh, from home, because you can now find the things around you that you can uh, yes. buy. And mm -hmm. I keep telling them, you know what, you never miss your perfect attendance through primary school, elementary school, middle school. I said, is this all this ginger, garlic, and onions, country onions? <laughs> that's, all eating, eating. that's why you have an yeah, immune system is as strong as ever. Yes, body is absolutely. Exactly. And, and then now lately, you're talking about organic this, organic that. I'm going, mm. there you go. There you there go. You go. Mm -hmm. Most organic things you've been eating here that, well, I know that for, but by the time they're organic. Out, is the organic. Them, yes, you get them, they're frozen <laughs> and things, but it's different from from this nuggets you're eating from mcdonald's i'm not even sure what um, no. meat <laughs> in there so, so, so it's, it's it's a good thing it's a good thing to do the whole to embrace the whole culture from the dressing to mm -hmm. those artifacts you're talking about there to the music it's all part to of the food is part of it yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. i mean it. for that one i will say we pay homage to uh, late uh, mrs bella lydia ifimba Mm -hmm. who uh, donated them to us uh, when I think she was then president of Bafkuda uh, in, uh, in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. And she sent us a lot of these items. So we put them very, very jealously. Right. Um, I mean, I always have them in a secure place in my house. <laughs> so, <laughs> may she rest in peace. Yeah, may she rest yes. in peace. She, she really was a champion. You, 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 oh, yes. you, you didn't yeah. see her and not know that this is no. a woman. Yes. She yes. carried herself with, the, with it and identified with her, that culture. I knew her from living, growing up in Bombay there. She's one of those we used to look at, at the, mm -hmm. the, the role models there. there in your ears. Yeah, yeah, role model. Education speaking, educationally mm -hmm. speaking. Yeah. And then the way she carried herself and somebody who mm -hmm. you would know within minutes of talking to her. Absolutely. Her yes, yes. And one other thing I would, I've been talking here as a cultural development officer. Uh, mm -hmm. One thing I've noticed with most of our, our chiefs, mm -hmm. I will, let me take the example of a paramount who, in fact, some of us met him for the first time. Mm -hmm. It's so exciting that uh, uh, the president talk about him being very open. Mm -hmm. It's not like in some places where the chief eats a different food. Mm -hmm. His food was taken from the same plate or the same bowls and dishes. Mm -hmm. We ate the same thing. Right. And I, I think he would have even said, bring some more. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, you are eating those real um, traditional food. Right. And, uh, we had, we had, I would say it was an honor that we had a lot of, even some of our parents, Mm -hmm. here who was, I would say, have not been out for a long time. They're sick, but they came out. Right. Mm -hmm. Came out just to, 
to meet him and pay him that uh, respect. So it, it was really a great event, which we were not really prepared for, but <laughs> it turned out to be very, very, uh, very well. I like and this. like, uh, I think uh, the president of Vanessa said, he's moving around right. in the US. Mm -hmm. And I think he said, after the US, maybe he's gonna spend some time in Europe, Mm -hmm. visiting other uh, communities, but for communities around. So That's a very he's moving good. around and um, trying getting to, to, meet, his, getting to meet his subjects. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Bako was going to say something. No, I was just, I was just going to say that uh, it's quite <clears throat> an honor that we're having him attend this um, boom in Houston. Uh, it, it makes a big difference in terms of uh, the love he's showing publicly to the Bafo people. That's a good thing, yeah. and you all are responding to yes. it. And it also it also says that the diaspora is important. Yes. To the overall of yeah. the Bafor people, the diaspora, those in the diaspora are not just in the diaspora, but they are an important integral part of this nation. Correct, correct. And I've yep. watched that particular aspect in all three coronations I mentioned. You were mm -hmm. given the platform to speak, like I saw you speaking. Absolutely. In the one in, in Buya, they had uh, the president of uh, FACO America up and speaking there. The one in Limbe, the same thing. Because these younger chiefs have wisely recognized that that is a source to tap mm -hmm. from. If you yeah. have them behind you, they will support financially, mm -hmm. morally. Yeah. They're the ones that have all these internet things at their disposal and can push, push, do exactly what you're doing right now. Yeah, out Absolutely. here and speaking. Not yep. some place where there's no internet there. If you were good to just uh -huh. take care of, okay, the people of Cuba <coughs> in particular, um, you may not get known, but the people who, when you have a, the, the diaspora uh, behind you, it's a powerful force to reckon with that helps Absolutely. propel you ahead and support you and maybe uh, understand your vision for the future better. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sell it and push it. Because the people who are where you are, maybe used to do, doing things a certain way. Mm -hmm. And so say, no, this is how we've done it. This is how we did it way back when Zingraf was here. <laughs> so it, has, it has to be the same thing. No movement. Yeah, no there is. And it's like we must have well. change. We must have change. There is, um, there is some safe and positive change. Mm -hmm. Changes we don't want to see. And then it's their job now. And I'm seeing all three of them doing it remarkably well, navigating and realizing what you should treasure and keep and what you can afford to say, Let's move ahead with this plan. Mm -hmm. and keep doing this, like so. You practice like uh, albinos. Well, they used to think that they were they, they were witches and things like mm -hmm. that. Pushing that kind of one, it's your yeah. job to say no. Let's not do that anymore. Mm -hmm. But then things like uh, the practices that you have <clears throat> that you hold dear, customs and traditions that mm -hmm. hold dear that help to keep your culture going. Those you definitely should treasure jealously and keep. Uh, with, this, with the center, a resource center like the one you are trying Absolutely. to Absolutely. So definitely. The two, yeah. the two can, can mm -hmm. coexist. You can be a very well educated person and still love your culture and promote uh -huh. it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what are the closing words? Anybody wants to have a closing word before? Or if not, I can talk like this and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, uh, I, I, I think, I, think uh, we, we, we want to, I want to thank you on behalf of my little crew. Uh, that uh, we sincerely appreciate the fact that you've given us, the Bafo people, an opportunity so that people, some other people can hear what we are all about in terms of Bafkuda USA. And uh, I am, I'm also trying to use this platform to, to plead to our, our youths to, to join. The, the culture is not just for older people, it's for, for everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. I will definitely be, when this comes out there on YouTube, I'll be forwarding to a good, a good number of them that I know Yes. Mm -hmm. this, have you heard this? Are you planning to go? Yeah. And, and each one harass one or two people. Like, hey, do you right. know it's happening there? And uh, send it even to the people in Kamun and say, have you asked your sister who lives out here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. who lives out here? Mm -hmm. Tell them you want to see them there in, in Houston. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if they don't know, always a good visit to the Moya Sombo. Come, come, come to the convention. We've, we've, we've hired the best DJ in America, so you have fun, please. There you go. There you go. So there's going to be everything there for you. They, they talked about the dressing, the food. Yep. You're mm -hmm. going to meet the, 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 His Royal Majesty. Now he's yep. talking about the music being good. 
Yes. There's no reason not to go. This is only what? This is still June. You have yes. time to get that ticket. Yes, so yes. You there's gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of traditional food. So please you get yourself ready. You don't want and to be the kind of one. No, everything gets streamed live these days. You don't want to be the one that you don't see. I know, one is right? there doing this yeah. on Facebook or on YouTube or wherever it yeah. is, and you're the one who's uh, not there. So you don't want to to miss out. Yeah, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you for giving us this platform. We thank Vosa World for opening up their doors for us so we can be able to share our vision, our stories. And we hope that you all will come to Houston at the end of July and feast and celebrate culture with us. And join and be an, uh, be an honorary Amma. There you yes. go. Yeah, that's it will be. Absolutely. It will be. <laughs> um, I will close by uh, presenting some, like I talk about documentation. These are books that uh, teach the language. It says uh, 115 simple verbs in Lifo. Okay. Uh, so that's the name. The name of the language is Lifo. Lifo. Because what do you think? You see, that's the thing. People say. So I, you I, have before. People, there's no S because it's already plural. plural. Oh. And uh, Lifo is the language, and Monfo, that is, is a Bafo person. Mm -hmm. So that's one book. This another one uh, it has a C, the inside. And I want to thank the, the team in Kumba uh -huh. uh, that uh, produced this document. I the phonetics, I know Sister Vanessa will relate very much to that from the faculty of. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They have so the alphabet. Also, I have oh. another one. It's a big chart which will display in uh, in Houston. In Houston, and then uh, finally we're in touch with the Bafo Credit Union. If you don't know, they created a credit union uh, a few years back. So uh, we'll have some of the uh, documents and flyers displayed at uh, the event coming. So I'm in touch with them. I'm in touch with the chair, Dr. Joyce Endeli. Mm -hmm. who promised uh, I think I'll have this she sent some some flyers and then there's one which fits well with the diaspora so right. we're expecting that in the coming days and uh, we'll have all those things displayed to encourage our people like you said earlier mm -hmm. you know uh, participating in right. the development of uh, uh, their various localities and um, their villages and don't leave it to somebody play your part. Correct. And Correct. Uh, encourage and our children as well to visit home as often as possible. Correct. That's that's the source itself. Um, I'm really impressed to see all of that because there are many uh, tribes, many people that don't have their languages in written form like that. Uh, so you already have, and back in the day it was Mungaka and Dwala that they used for. Yeah, uh, yeah but they have, we have the alphabet, the they, Bapo alphabet. There you go. So That's at the back of that book, you will find this. At the back of this book, right? The book that find the Bafo alphabet. There you go. Correct. No, it's a good thing because even African Americans here, all Caucasians look at it and just think we are a group of people with no education. You speak here, and they say, like, "Oh, how long have you been in the states that you speak English so well?" I'm going, "No. <laughs> if, anything, my, if anything, my English has gotten worse since I got here." I, I know. Better, yeah. So they just think. You don't, you don't, there's not much, whereas we have our, our, our languages written, like, like you see there, it's a good thing. And I'm hoping by doing this too, that other tribes, other cultures, if you haven't done this yet, go ahead and do it now before all of these things die off, instead start to preserve them so that for posterity, for your own self, and especially for posterity, or it will just die off and you just become a floating people with Thank no you. roots. Those are, those Absolutely. Are. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Lady and gentlemen, it has been <laughs> such a pleasure to have you on here. And you know, you're welcome back anytime to talk about this. When that resource center actually is built with all the artifacts in it, you, you better believe I'd be dying to have you come on back and show us a video of how of, uh, of what it looks like, snippets from the from the convention and everything. So I wish you only the very best. Since Thank I can't even Jita. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, my, my pleasure. I don't. How do you? How was the way to answer that? That uh, I I could tell that it was thank you because I know those. Yes. I know the so how do you how do you respond to it? You can say me po in Sakani. Hey. That's I too. I thank you also. So me po Sakani. 
Yes. There you go. There you go. I'm Thank you. To... Yes. All all right. Right. Thank you so much. You're Bye, everyone. Welcome. All the best. All the best. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye.